so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a home bargain tour so if you would like to see some things that i picked up recently then keep watching so hi everyone how are you doing i feel like there's a responsibility to check in with everyone when i do these videos at the moment um and sometimes to be honest it's nice for me to just be able to like offload to your fellow humans that aren't you know just mark <laughs> or friends on like messenger and whatsapp and stuff um we have just got back from um well we actually went to pets at home for millions food he has like um he's like on a mostly raw fed diet and we buy his food from there but it's freezer stuff so we do have to go quite regularly because there's only so much that we can fit in the freezer so we've got three big bags and some little like snacks for him and then next door but one or two pretty much to pets at home because it's like a industrial estate type thing um there's a home bargains and we were out of low roll and a few other bits i thought i'd bob into there mainly because it's kind of quieter than a supermarket and i didn't honestly fancy going around the supermarket with three kids because they're like they're so much busier and yeah i don't really enjoy that experience anyway at the moment because it just makes me feel a bit blech. whereas home bargains was like relatively quiet so I got Lee Roll, I got a few cleaning bits, I got some stuff for the kids and a few snacks as well, like bits that I can't generally find elsewhere because that's quite a nice thing about these kind of shops. So I'm just gonna crack on into it. The first things that we got, I haven't got to show you now because that would just be ridiculously cruel of me, but obviously Christmas was a little over a month ago now. The kids got some Christmas money and I said to them if they would like to get anything while they were there that they spotted that they really like, then to let me know. And you don't need to tell like kids that twice, do you really? They were all very enthusiastic. So Daisy got an LOL fuzzy pet, I think it was, that comes with fur that you peel off, which sounds a bit weird because she got a cat, so she was literally skinning a cat. Um, but she's very pleased with that. Stan got a mega meter of Play-Doh because he's obsessed. Honestly, every single day we play with Play-Doh. He really loves Play-Doh. He really loves his ice cream car and like building blocks or magnetic tiles that we have like anything like that like crafting creative making things he loves um and so he saw this meter of play dome was like can i get that it was only 9.99 which for the amount that he got is ridiculous but already and i'm literally talking i emptied it all out for him so he could play and then um went and put the dog's food in the freezer and stuff and by the time i came back it was a massive ball all mixed together so if you if you don't like that kind of stuff look away now because it hurt my heart <laughs> but that's kids for you and you know what like that's how he wants to enjoy it and then bill got one of those dinosaur smash him ice egg slime things that he really really likes he got one of them christmas and he saw it and it was a lot cheaper than what I paid for Christmas as well. So um, he picked that up. So I haven't got these to show now because obviously they are downstairs with Mark and they are playing with them. And I'm quickly trying to film this video um, before I crack on with things like dog walk and making tea and that kind of thing. So where shall we start? So first up, as I mentioned, this was the main thing that we needed. Um, Lou Roll, I um, went to go and stock up the downstairs toilet this morning and realised there was none left in our cupboard that I keep it in the utility. And we go through Lou Roll quite quickly because there's five of us. Um, so yeah, I just got the Andrex one. It was like 3 99 I think. The next two things I was really pleased to see because I find that things like this are fantastic for kids. They were one ninety nine each and they are basically white, clean activity books from three plus they come with a pen and a carry handle somehow is this the yeah this is the carry handle i think and then it also pops up so it stands up on the desk if they want to use it like that and it's all white clean and there was a numbers one a letters one a shape one and times table i really wanted numbers and letters they didn't have any letters ones left 
So I've got numbers and shapes because I don't think Daisy's quite at the timetable stage yet. Um, but she can practice writing her numbers. Um, so like one tiger, two cars, that kind of thing. There's little activities. And she can do them over and over again. And I kind of got them with a view to hopefully being able to use them with Stan as well because they're not that far apart in age. And um, for $1.99, RRP $5.99, I thought they were fantastic. And if she's doing one, Stan could do the other one as an activity together and then they can swap. And I just thought this would really help me with homeschooling because obviously we're gonna be doing this forever. <laughs> it feels like um, until March, maybe after Easter, who knows, who knows? The jury's out on that one, but in the meantime i've got some other options now which is good i did try and look for you know like craft items you know like large pieces of card because daisy generally for school will have a lot of tasks where she has to do something on quite a large scale like make a map and you know when you little and you draw you tend to draw quite big don't you and sometimes a4 isn't always big enough but i couldn't find anything it was all like pretty cleared out and stuff like that um so it really sore eye um so yeah that was that was kind of the only stuff that i got for homeschooling i was hoping to find more though okay i've just rummaged through my bags for you to kind of like create some order because otherwise it would just be one of those like oh and you got this as well so i've got foodie items next the first two things that we needed like urgently uh, butter i've never ever seen this one before it's like churn pack lighter i think it's home bargains own version there's a dog uh, hello <laughs> why are you so needy i find you everywhere mummy i find you i just want to watch you do a home bargains video mom you stay there stay there i love you too and i missed you i know that you missed me but i brought you home frozen yogurt didn't i and i brought you home snacks and more dead animal food okay you go downstairs now okay we're just going to try and ply on so if you hear a rhythmic tapping or this wobbles which is what it's doing now it's He's trotted off again. Honestly, it's like having a fourth hairy child. Um, we bought him some frozen yogurt for dogs from Pets at Home. And he really enjoyed that. And I'm assuming he might have come up to say thank you. I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, yeah, Home Bargain's own version of Lure Pack, I think. And it was only £1 something, so I was really pleased to see that. And then the other thing that we needed were some onions. So I got some red onions. I was trying to see if there were any strawberries as well, but I couldn't find them at Home Bargain either. And then the um, rest of the stuff. As When I go, I kind of generally pick up things that I don't see elsewhere or specific snacks that I want either because I'm like counting calories, trying to be a bit healthier, healthier that kind of thing. Um, first thing I picked up were these for the kids. They are a fresh milk snack. You keep them refrigerated and they are Oreo ones. I've never seen these before. When we were queuing, um, Bill was like, ah, oh, can we get them? And I was like, ah, oh, okay then. Um, so they were the first thing that they spotted. I also I've got some Dairy Lee strip cheese because I don't see this around as much anymore. I, these were quite big when I was a kid, believe it or not. And um, so pick those up, you get only four in a pack. But it's always nice to have like a, a varied selection of snacks in, isn't it, at the moment. I got a pancake mix, the Jane Asher one. They had loads of pancake stuff in, loads of Valentine's stuff in, and loads of Easter stuff in already. So um, that's good to know because I think as parents, definitely at the moment, we're trying to make things as nice for our kids as possible aren't we um so if you do want to get a few bits for your easter hunt or, or anything like that just a bit early ahead of time then you can do um this is the chocolate chip breakfast style pancake mix there is no way in hell that these are going to last until pancake day i will get asked to make them at some point within the week um but it makes four to six and i just thought that it'd be a nice little one to do because you add stuff in and shake it and be nice for the kids to do won't it another thing i picked up which i can't find anywhere else um is this and it is epic it's so good it's the Kerala chinese salt and chili pepper seasoning so you know salt and pepper chips 
this is this is what you need um i was thinking maybe of making them from scratch myself um so the calorie count is per 100 grams 231 calories um there is 275 grams in here so obviously like there's sugar in there so it's going to be a little bit of extra salt and something but you wouldn't really need that much anyway to add some flavor and they're just it's so good the first time i tried this was when my parents picked it up for me and i was just a convert so if you ever spot it really really suggesting it if you want to make your own fakeaways and things like that because it's yummy next up were two bags of rainbow popcorn because i don't tend to see this anywhere else and it makes movie night which we tend to do a lot of or like family movie afternoon uh, a little bit more exciting and um kids love it so i picked up two bags of those i got some ice cream flavor chew it's because they've never had these and i loved the ice cream ones when i was younger so got that some tortelloni spinach and ricotta just because i when I see this, I tend to pick it up because this has easy dinner. Homeschooling's been a nightmare. I'm very, very stressed. And I just need a bit of a break written all over it. This here. So that is what they will have at some point. Because even when I meal plan, sometimes it just does not go to plan. And things have been really stressful. Or I've had to catch up with work. And so the kids eat early and we eat later. Because it's just like, that's what deadlines are like. So I love having things like this in. Really, really love like pesto cheese, some veggies on the side sorted i got these these i was so pleased to see because i can only ever find them at home bargains and obviously i am throwing them around my bedroom at the moment <laughs> where was i right <laughs> obviously i am on a calorie counting like mission at the moment i'm on a health kick i'm trying to lose my lockdown one and were there are there three lockdowns or or two because i feel like for me there were two because the second one just felt like a sort of the restrictions went back up a bit but the kids were in school still so it didn't feel as bad but this one and the first one were were not nice um anyway this shush <laughs> shush charlotte i am um, a game weight i'm trying to lose it i'm sure you already know that if you follow me anyway but um these are amazing they're white chocolate and raspberry whip bars they're so nice they are 97 calories each and i just love them they're yummy i i've got a real thing for white chocolate it's my favorite and um these just really hit this part and i'd run out and so it was very very nice to find these because when i last went to home bargains which was in between christmas and new year before everything changed i, I couldn't find them anywhere so to see them today was amazing i got some of this dexter's gummy mix i bought these before actually and um i just kind of pretend that it's like pick and mix at home with the kids so like on a friday night something like that i will let them get a little bowl and pick their own treats and pretend it's like a little shop or something because i'm twee like that but they really enjoy it and these always go down really well very cheap and cheerful i got some passata because you can never have enough sieved tomatoes in your life i got another one of these korma sauces i shared these on a pass haul i think you can get loads of different type but i got the uh, mild ones for the kids because um they really like it and they're quite decent they're quite nice um so you basically just cook off some chicken or veggies if you want to add those in and serve with like rice and amber, that kind of thing but it's a nice one to have in because they last quite well in your cupboard got some dairy lee dunkers because these are epic are they not it's so funny still seeing my kids eat the same things that i ate when i was younger because you would expect everything to be different but so many things have lasted um and these are no exceptions so yeah these i thought would be a grab and go quick lunch one day when running behind or something like that um with some veggies and fruit and a yogurt that kind of thing i got a pack of cream eggs because uh, the kids love them although it's really annoying because there's five in a pack and i wish there were six because it becomes very difficult when you've got three kids and you're dividing them um but yeah pick those up i got some lighter than light mayo um i really like this stuff and it was cheaper than normal so picked up a big one and then i also got a olive oil fry light as well so that is nearly all of the food and i think the last bit are these i swear i went out loud oh mini eggs and like you can already get mini eggs but these are mini 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 eggs can you see can you see how little they are i'm trying to see if it'll show up they're tiny they're so dinky and they're called milk chocolate tiny eggs and i just 
thought these would be fantastic, even for baking. I think that these are a perfect size and they're a lot less choke hazardy than perhaps the larger proper mini eggs. They picked up two bags, uh, but they had loads of these and loads of lovely Easter bits like Easter baskets, fake hay, <laughs> um, Easter trails that you can buy, Easter lollipops, Easter chocolates, all sorts. So that was really nice to see, but I held off for now because I'm really hoping that by the time Easter rolls round, um, things might be a little bit lighter potentially and and uh, you know it'd be easier for me to go and pick something up because at the moment the when the kids came out with me today it's the first time that they've been a shop in a shop since december and um they were really excited by it but obviously i try and do it on my own just because it's easier generally speaking um like kind of for obvious reasons really but um it would be nice to take them back close to easter maybe and like go and have a proper look at stuff or buy things as a surprise as well um i'm rumbling as per you know me um next few bits i got cat sticks <laughs> If you've seen videos like this before, most of the time I will pick up these Webex Tasty Sticks and also some Licky Licks, but we had Licky Licks anyway, we've got some recently, so um, we didn't need any of them. But I got cod and turkey and lamb flavour for the kitties, so um, that's for them. Uh, for, oh yeah, one other thing I bought, how cute is this bowl? It's only like a Perspex, is it? Bowl. Um, 99p and it's a heart shape. But I just thought it was so cute. Like, you, if you follow me elsewhere, like Instagram or you've seen like videos on here before, I do enjoy quite like themed occasions. I just feel like if there's any opportunity to have a bit of fun, do something different, I'm I'm here for it. I'm your gal. And I thought this would be great for like coming up to um, Valentine's Day, things like that. And I got some like little treats to put in it. I thought maybe I could put it on the side somewhere and fill with other bits and bobs. I don't know. But for 99p, I wasn't going to leave it there because I just thought it was proper cute. So I got some chocolate hearts and some chocolate ladybugs which are really sweet. Um, so I'm going to pop these away somewhere for now and then get them out near the time. But I was, I was drawn in by them, I've got to say. Um, and then I also picked up, before I go into the cleaning items that we needed, I picked up a few bits for the kids to cheer them up and make them smile because I've been pampering myself and doing nice things for myself I am um, like you know once a week at night when they're in bed and really taking time out for me and it really helps me and I thought when we're in there like it would really help them too to have something to look forward to to make them feel special so I allowed them to pick um two things each from like these categories and this is what they chose so first up bath bombs my children love bath bombs absolutely love 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 bath bombs uh, all three of them do they're fun they make bath time a bit more exciting and i'm here for that so this is what we picked so daisy went for a light up bath bomb and inside it has a glow light up toy inside it which um is very exciting for her this three to collect probably just a bit of tat really but it'll make her really happy so these i thought it was going to yawn I am very tired. Um, these were one pound something each. And then the boys picked the dino egg fizzer. So there's three different dinosaurs to collect. And they come out as those like squishy. Do you know the ones I mean? Like squishy toys are really, really squishy. And so they got a dino egg each for the bath. And they're so excited about that already. And then to kind of follow up with that. I thought we could do it at the weekend. Like have like, um, they can all have their own like bubble bath and a bit of a chill and then afterwards they can have hot chocolates and obviously if you are on TikTok especially there's loads of people breaking apart kinder eggs and putting marshmallows in and sticking them back together but then there are people like me who see these <laughs> and buy those instead because it's easier um so these are hot chocolate unicorns it's filled with chocolate chips and marshmallows so that's what daisy picked and then the boys again there's a strong dinosaur theme i uh, got hot chocolate dinosaurs and again chocolate chips and marshmallows they're bloody massive though i have to put them in like this way i think like that um but they're really excited about them and it just they were so happy um obviously they spent the christmas money but like the fact that i said like let's get some things to treat yourself with and they didn't spend very much money at all it like hurt my heart a little bit um because they they have ups and downs they're human they they're not mean to finding this hard are they so 
yeah, I was really pleased to pick them up because it's not really something you can pick up like nearby to where I live. Um, it can be like difficult to find little things like that. So I was proper happy with them. And now cleaning stuff. Actually, I told a lie because we're going to start with um, what are these storage storage i bought three i'm on a mission at the moment to slowly organize things so that i look like pinterest um which is never gonna happen because i'm just not I, i'm clean and i'm tidy but i'm not perfect and sometimes that's enough isn't it um but one thing that i really wanted these for um i didn't want to buy too much in one go because it can total quite a lot these were like maybe two pound fifty each which is fairly reasonable um but um i bought them for my um you know baking cupboard because flour for example is like you, you get danger of weevils don't you do you remember weevils i mean i think they still exist to be fair it's not like they're like unicorns or something but um i was always on the lookout for weevils as a kid my mum was always like look out for weevils check for weevils in the flower um if you don't know what a weevil is google it <laughs> it's like a little a tiny tiny bug that likes baking um yeah we'll leave that there but um i thought this would be fantastic because i just have like rolled up bags of flour and i feel like this would be much more i don't know sanitary it would help it last longer easier to use that kind of thing so basically this little bit seals them do you know what i mean and i really liked them they came in gray and white and baby pink Normally I would go for white, that's my bag, but I went for baby pink because it's quite a nice blush pink to be fair. And sometimes white stuff can discolour over time, can't it? So I thought they would be the best bet. Uh, but I got three of them and they were all 1.7 litres because I thought it would be good for like plain flour, self-raising flour and sugar. That was my viewpoint. And then if I like them, I can always go back for more, can't I? Um, but yeah, I was really pleased to see these actually because you can get them from Amazon as well, but... They normally come in packs and they can be a little bit dearer so i was really happy with them the next things are smelly things i didn't actually smell them while i was in there because i was wearing a mask and then i was watching three kids and helping them stay safe and socially distance and stuff so i took a chance on this take a chance on me said Zaflora white blossoms i've never smelled white blossoms before so if it smells like potpourri i'll be disappointed kind of smells like like grandma's but not my grandma but like that grandma smell that you taught that smells like grandma's if you know what i mean um like jasmine -y. it's not bad though i mean it's nice very comforting limited edition as well so like i've got it i've got it uh, so i picked one of those up and then i also picked up um some airwick life scent I'm, I'm addicted to these i think that much is probably true um these are multi-layered fragrance and this is in mum's baking mum's baking uh it smells like baked pear pie crust and vanilla so i was very happy to see those because they're a really nice one actually and i just thought i'd pick them up while i was there because i have them ready to go when i need them next and then I got me some surf because I'm obsessed. Um, I got this one. I've never had this one before. It's perfect black. Midnight Orchid and Lily. Oh, it's number one for black clothes. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that. Does this mean I can't use it with other colours? It smells really nice. <laughs> I don't have that many black clothes. I mean, I like black. It's slimming, but I wish I'd read the label a little bit more. Anyway. It smells beautiful, 25 washes. I'm obsessed with Siv, as you probably well know by now. And that is why I picked up a watermelon breeze, which makes me think of Harry Styles, but I'm not going to sing it. Um, this one is probably my current fave, to be honest. But again, I can't ever find this in Tesco and the like, which really annoys me. So that is why I go to Home Margins, because they have all of them. Watermelon sugar, hi. I sang it crap anyway um this one's beautiful really really like it and um what more can i say i do a lot of washing there's five of us my children are exceptionally messy daisy's actually on her third jumper today and that was before lunchtime and um yeah i go through those quicker than you think i also picked up some scent beasties um because these are lovely and i was kind of 
reminded of that recently when I picked some up. Um, oh my gosh, these are so nice. These are, if you squeeze it, you can smell it and it's like puffing, like scented air in my face. Ugh, it's so nice. Um, this is the Exotic Bloom Love scent, which I've never seen before, but I like to keep these for towels and bedding or just if something that I wear a lot like you know like like your favorite jumper or your pajamas like where you want it to smell really nice that kind of thing um but they are they're really nice and then these are the final things that I picked up so um I've got some hand cream for Mark because um I knew he'd run out and wanted some so I just got the Nivea soft one because um can't love a bit of Nivea, can't you? They're they're very reliable um, as a brand. And then I also got a Fabulosa Truly Fresh, Clean and Fresh Fabulosa Smelling Carpet Foam Freshener. Now I'm reading out the entire label, but these are beautiful. I used to swear by the 1001 carpet thing foam, um, but these have so many more scents, and they are so nice they smell so good so i was really really pleased to pick up those because um we have run out and i love them and then the final thing that i got was a treat to myself it was my birthday recently i have birthday money sitting around and um i just wanted a candle but it's one of these crackly ones um it's cotton and white jasmine and i haven't had a crackly candle in ages but i just thought it would be quite atmospheric and ah oh, so pretty this is really nice so sorry i'm just having a moment with my candle there but that was everything um so it was actually really nice to go and do something a little bit different because the only place i've really been is like tesco aldi and waitrose and it tends to be an in and out jobby um but yeah i'm really pleased with those and i hope that you enjoyed seeing what we picked up I'm going to go and put it all away now and um, then we've got to go on a quick dog walk and then I will make dinner and that's another day done and dusted. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Stay safe, keep smiling, keep going. This has to end eventually, doesn't it? So yeah, I will see you all very, very soon.